So in this video we're going to have a look at creating a dub delay. One of my favorite live effects is the dub delay. With the dub delay technique you can achieve some frequencies the DJs could not dream of. As soon as you start dub delaying over your live set or over the previous DJ, the crowd feels that really high frequency hovering above everything else. It's rather simple to use but you're gonna have to watch out for your levels. You could easily break your sound system or burst someone's ears with this technique. So you're gonna have to take some measures to make sure that it doesn't go too high in volume. So I've loaded a tune onto a normal audio track. I'm now going to reach for the ping pong delay over here and load it onto a return channel. Make sure it's on all wet. Take away some of the low frequencies with the filter and then reach for a limiter. The limiter should be set as it is to prevent any sound going above minus 0 0.03 dB. I'm also going to reduce a little bit the volume of my return channel itself. The whole technique rests on the fact that each return channel also has a send knob associated to itself right on the return channel itself. As a default, Ableton will disable these sends and you can see they grayed out. If you right click onto it, you can enable it. I think Ableton Live disabled this send knob to prevent you from you know, doing this dub delay technique without wanting to basically. You can basically go so high in volume with these knobs that you know you need to know what you're doing before you actually do it. So yeah, right click it, enable it. That means we can now via this knob send the delay back onto itself creating a feedback loop. So, it's really easy to use. Start the track, raise the send knob, lower the send knob, and now start raising the other send knob. And you see now I've cooked up some signal here, and I'm going to feed back it to itself. The feedback means that the sound comes back to itself and starts accumulating inside the return channel and you can hear it growing slowly in the background. Now you need to keep your eyes on that sand knob as if you leave it cranked up for too long the sound will accumulate dangerously. And then once the sound is still in there you can raise it back in and it will accumulate again and again. And this lovely lush wave sound above the rest of the song will create a really nice vibe. So that's the principle behind it. Shall we do it again? But this time I'm going to map the most important parameters. Let's map the send knob over here. Let's map the other send knob here. Fine. Now let's go back to our device chain in the return channel. I'm going to add a auto filter right in between the ping pong delay and the limiter set it on high pass I'm going to assign this frequency to another fader right there so I have now control over the sound like so great so send knob A return send knob and filter frequency great let's do it again start the try Raise the send knob A and raise the return send knob. And now start moving the filter frequency. And you can thin out this delay and go back down again. have this lush layer on the top of the sound it's brilliant so with this filter you can now control somehow the frequency content of the delay making it thinner and then back on again let's lower the return send knob 
and now slowly the feedback loop dies down. So, let's now assign the time delay to a controller. Let's do it here. I can now change the time delay. C, 3, 4 and 6. I'm also going to right click on the ping pong and make it a repeat mode. Let's try again. Raise, send, A. Raise, send, return. Lower the send knob and back again. Let's now change the time of the delay. And change it again. And you have now this sort of timed delay feedback. I'm going to raise my auto filter. And lower back on. Change the delay time to smaller increment. So there you go, it's an amazing tool, let's lower the rest and no, you see I forgot it, it was accumulating again. It's an amazing technique, these kind of frequencies are really nice on the dance floor and you, you, can, you can really send a short burst of, of wave above the rest of the sound, it's, it's really creative and uh, it, it's great for transitions and it's great to create a, a, a nice uh, dub feel into your live set.